were there. Everything was there for the school district to know and realize they had someone who was a predator. Turning a blind eye during two decades of abuse by a South Valley teacher and coach has cost a small school district millions of dollars. Action News anchor Corn Hoggard spoke with the victims about the message they hope their payouts send to schools everywhere. It is a story you will only see here on Action News. David Blancas might have worn the red jumpsuit of an accused criminal to court in 2012, but after he pleaded not guilty, I talked to a crowd of former students holding him up as a hero. Weeks later, investigators tracked down those same students. They showed three pictures of me, and then they told me if I could figure if it was me, I said, yeah. Secret pornographic images converted four teenage boys from Blancas defenders to Blancas victims. For years at the K-8 through Monson Sultana School, they'd known him as a father figure who was friendly enough to sign their yearbooks. Thanks for everything, you Mac. And generous enough to fill their homes with candy, clothes, video games, and more. The keys to the car he gave you. He gave me a car. We're not identifying the boys because the investigation revealed the gifts were all part of a grooming process where Blancas got close to students, then took advantage of them, usually while they slept. One of his victims was just 11 when Blanca started a sexual relationship. Their lives will never be the same. The, the school district will never be the same. And it really is unfortunate because this was avoidable. Brian Kabatek sued the school on behalf of the boys in 2015 and discovered the first report of abuse by Blancas dated back to 1991, before several of his victims were even born. Capitec says the district swept the complaint under the rug and then didn't uncover new sex crimes in 2001, eventually exposing more than 20 years worth of students to abuse. He could have gone on for who knows how long and then there would have just been more victims and it would have just, it would have been terrible. That school was like his feeding ground. And the strong message that we want, that the boys want, is school districts have to be particularly today more vigilant and careful because there is a cost to be paid for not watching what's going on. The cost to Monson and Sultana is now added up to $6.8 million in settled lawsuits. Blancas is serving a life sentence in prison. Corin Hoggard, ABC 30, Action News.